Well, tonight, Shelby County Assessor is going on offense against a looming housing crisis. Outside investors buying up properties, turning them into rentals and keeping home ownership out of the reach of local families. It's a problem ABC 24 continues to monitor and provide possible solutions for you. As Brad Broders explains, the investor issue is especially personal for both prospective home buyers and homeowner associations. Neighbors in this Cordova subdivision are pushing back against investors buying up homes and turning them into rental properties. For the Homeowners Association president here, it's now her mission to line up the needed votes to make substantial change. It is important. Uh, we have a diverse community and, and it's a very good community. LaGrange Commons Homeowners Association president Ebony Hodges wants to keep it that way. For months, she's pushed to update her HOA's charter that would ban future rentals, promote local home ownership, and keep outside investors out. Trying to get all of the votes has been our biggest challenge because the renters are still, or the rental properties are still coming in. Hodges listed in Thursday morning as Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess reiterated his push to change zoning laws and limit investors. There is a direct relationship between a saturation of rentals in the community and the rising crime rates in areas like Cordova, Southeast Memphis and Whitehaven. Those with Shelby County leadership said it's also critical for HOAs such as Hodges to act and slow the surge of flipped rental properties. What we need to try to do is stop the tide because I think everybody can agree that uh, a community of renters doesn't have the pride of the community a lot of the time. I've kind of given up after looking for about six months. Colleen Jones is one of many prospective home buyers losing out, mainly because of all cash home offers by investors. My realtor even said they are they are frustrated because they have so many people like me that they can't help because they make offer after offer and they're just outbid you know, every single time. As for Hodges, with roughly 70% of her neighborhood owned by families and at least 70% of residents needed to update its charter, every vote matters to make a change. Our neighborhood is very tight and so they will be so excite excited. They'll be ecstatic and everyone that's something that we've been working on and it's not just about me, it's just about the community. Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess didn't want to nail down a timeline or when he hopes these proposed changes will be made, but he promised to keep working with county and state leaders to make it happen. In Cordova, I'm Brad Broders.